it is me and my tea again. And with April thunderstorms today comes April Lush Kitchen Boxes, and I am super excited. I was really, really nervous that it would get soaked, but thankfully I have the most awesome UPS driver in the world, and he made sure not to get the box wet. So thank you very much, fabulous UPS man. So let us get into our unboxing, shall we? Although I do have a quick correction to last month's unboxing. I said that this was a solid lotion bar. Apparently it turns out that this is actually a really moisturizing soap, but in all fairness on the ingredients um, paper, it does have it listed as a body lotion. So I guess the typo had me confused, but luckily I only used it twice as a body lotion. It works really good, better as a soap. Okay, but that's being said, Let's get into this unboxing. I have the label starting to peel. And here we go. Oh, and we have a cute little, looks like a little leaf growing right there. And, or maybe like a ginger root. Some kind of botanical plant right here on our sticker. And let's get open. If you're unfamiliar with the Lush Kitchen Box, Firstly, back in the day on the Lush UK website, I believe it was every week there would be a new Lush Kitchen menu, or at least every couple of weeks. And sadly, they haven't done that in a couple of years, but about three years ago, they started doing Lush Kitchen Box, and every month you vote for the next month's um, items, and some are community vote, and then the others are Lush Kitchen surprises. So here we have it. Ooh, it smells really, ooh, really strong and earthy. I bet there's something patchouli-y in here. So we have our spoiler ingredients card. I'll set that aside. And it says that this month's theme is Get Grounded, which is very nice. I will have it be right here if you want to check out the QR code. And um, this background is really, really cool. I like that enough that I almost want to um, display it. That is very cool. Ooh, and it smells amazing. And I'm gonna say it says, get grounded with calm and comforting sense that there has to be something patchouli -y in here for it to smell this good. Okay, so time to get our little peanutty rainstorm happening. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I see an item right here. Ooh, it's a tiny bottle. Last month was a tiny bottle also. Okay, so we have Assassin Kitchen Exclusive Shower Gel. And it's in the tiny bottle and it's a really like dark, dark emerald green. And it says, blend into the undergrowth of patchouli and oak moss while chicory infusion takes care of skin calming business. Ooh. And let's see what we have behind the little sticker right here, our little secret wordy. And our little secret word right here, it says on target, if the camera will focus, that is, there we go. So our little secret word underneath is on target and our wonderful person that made our shower gel. So it says it has agar, agar gel, water, sodium lauryl sulfate, so chicory, fresh rosemary, cypress oil, Sicilian lemon oil, Siberian fir needle oil, oak mox, absolute, dark Sumatran patchouli. Ooh, so let's have a quick sniffy sniff. And as we can see, it's that deep dark green. Let's see if I can get it to bubble up a little for us. Ooh, ooh that smells good. Ooh, wow. It's like, it's like karma, a little bit of Lord of Misrule, and then like a dark stormy night. Yes, rain does have a smell to it, and it kind of reminds me of that, and this is nice. I wish it was in a bigger bottle, though. I was really hoping for a bigger bottle, because I think we had a small bottle in March also. All right, next. Ooh, we have another... We have another pot. It is Skinny Dip. Oh, I think this is an exclusive. So it is a 
Lush Kitchen exclusive buttercream. This kind of soft soap scoop up a handful and smooth over skin to cleanse before rinsing. Ooh, alrighty. Ooh, I have never had. Oh wow. Ooh, I love that. So it's kind of this, like, thick creaminess, goodiness. Ooh, I like that. What is in here? It says, what's it say? Coconut oil, rapeseed oil, aloe vera gel, almond oil, cocoa butter, creamed coconut. So we have cedarwood oil, um, sage oil, clove bud oil, palmosa, palmrosa oil, vitivert oil, ylang ylang. That's definitely it. Ooh, that. Mm, definitely, you can really smell the ylang ylang. So let's see what is behind our little sticker friend right here. And this is one, I don't know if this is a classic they brought back or if this is something new, but I really like the scent. And the little word underneath, it says feeling brand nude. So that's kind of funny. And of course our person that made our buttercream. Oh, I like that. That is really, really nice. Next, oh yay, we have a bath bomb. And I think I know what this one is. I believe that this is the yoga. Yes. Oh, wow. I haven't smelled that in ages. Oh, yes. We have a yoga bath bomb. I haven't seen one of these in ages. It's such a nice, calming, um, like kind of incense-y kind of bath bomb. So it has Cassette Absolute. Wood oil, sandalwood oil, olibanum resin, um, and it is mm, really, really, really nice. Very calming. I think I might, I don't know, wrap a couple of blankets in this so that maybe when I go to bed it could make the blankets smell like this. So I like that smell that much. All right, next. Ooh. ooh. It looks like we have a soap right here. And I, or I assume it's a soap. And I appreciate it being all nicely wrapped up. I need to get out my trusty pocket knife though. Oh, that is, that is an interesting scent. Like, very very interesting on top it says lush kitchen and we have a bunch of bits on the inside i don't know if i like that that is that is a really interesting smelling soap oh it's ginger root so water rapeseed oil ginger oil fresh ginger basically pure ginger like literal ginger chunks ginger root I think this might be a gift to my mom because she loves, I like ginger, but not this much ginger. So she will definitely appreciate this because she loves like eating straight up crystallized ginger root. It's okay. Not quite my um, cup of uh, tea. <laughs> All right. So let's go to our next item. <gasps> Yay! I was so... Of, of everything that I voted for, I wanted this item the most. Because I remember when it came out in Lush Shops, and I remember missing out on it and being so sad. Look at it! It is the... Uh, I, I butcher this. I hope I don't. Poisson de Avril. The uh, Fish of April, and if I remember right, ooh, oh wow, that smells so good. Oh man, one moment as I um, drool over this scent because it is chef's kiss, S tier, top shelf, fantastic, at least for me. So if I remember right, um, the Fish of April, I think it's like a French 
um, April Fool's tradition where kids, like, if I remember right, it involved them sticking, like, fish or something to people's back and seeing how many they could do before running away and saying fish of April. So I think that's how it is. If, if I can find it online, I'll put a description down below of this tradition, but oh my gosh, this is divine again. And it is, let's see, the fragrance is black pepper oil, cinnamon leaf oil, oak moss absolute, neroli oil. Mm. And it is just, I, it, I can't describe how much I love the scent. Um, so imagine a spicy, cinnamony scent, but it also has a little bit of like a tiny bit of like a sweet citrus scent to it. And it is just absolutely adorable. I mean, I just want to go like to it. Oh, okay, let's see. Is there anybody else in here? Do we have any extra goodies? I'm not seeing anybody in here. Hmm, if no one else is in here, we know that means April showers brings lush kitchen peanut flowers. Showers. <laughs> okay, so that was everything in this box. Uh, leave a comment on what items sound amazing to you. Let me know if you've ever tried these um, back in the day when they were in the stores. And yeah. And again, sorry for thinking that this was a lotion, but in all fairness, the ingredients form did have it listed as a lotion, so I'm not gonna spill this tea, but typos make for funny April Fool's jokes in March. <gasps> Alrighty, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this Lush Kitchen unboxing. Leave a comment down below again about what your favorite item was or what scent really piqued your interest. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps boost it in the algorithm. And if you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you never miss my videos ever again. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!